Okay, where I'm at is way down the sewer, most at the bottom of the stack when I'm past your neighbor's tie-in. You might be able to see the neighbor's tie-in when I pull back. You can see it dripping straight down. You can count the negative feet of how far I went in. There was your neighbor's tie-in, we just went by it. The line's down a little bit, but nothing that's going to stop this cord from bringing The toilet has the wrong flapper on it. No, that could use to be jetted, but that's your neighbor's property. So we're pulling up the vertical stack. I mean, everything was normal. There's a little bit of water on my legs. Still normal. There's a little... You'll see the connection for your laundry and all this stuff. You'll see it on this dirtier pipe. No. Kitchen, because it's downstairs. Because I'm in the one toilet now. There's a connection from below. It never has any problem in it. Stack your vent. It's supposed to be that little. This is a whole of pipe. It's supposed to be pulled back up into the toilet. This is the toilet. So everything is normal. You get low flushes, and you get low flushes because if you don't hold the handle down, you do this. It don't flush. You got the wrong flapper on here. And you need to change the flapper. The reason why it makes the sound that you're about to hear, that one, is because your fill valve is going bad. Replace your fill valve. Your toilet's on. Because if I hold the toilet handle down, the thing flushes like a dream. It flushes all the way down, fills all the way back up, and let's see if it makes a sound. might take a minute. Yep. So you need a new, if you want that sound to stop, get a new fill valve, which is the thing that brings the water in. You want the short flushes to go, get the right flapper.